So in our quest to create as many backlinks for our websites as possible, the next aspect that I want to walk you through from Backlink Beast is setting up and submitting to Web 2.0 profiles. But before we do that, I again need to go back to the beginning and talk about setting up an account on these Web 2.0 profiles. So we go back to our, our initial account creation project, right? I'll double click it and it's going to open up again all of the different options that I have to create accounts on websites. So I'll deselect the ones. I currently don't have any selected and I'll pick Web 2.0 profiles. Now you can see there's 203 of these currently available to build accounts for. Now I'm not going to do accounts for all 203 of those. Normally if I'm doing a real project I would. I'm just going to create a few of these just for demonstration purposes. So I'll pick 10 or 15 of them like I did in the previous previous example. Uh, again, I have an email already set up. I've chosen the disposable email. I've set that up by auto creating my email address in the first video and I want to create these accounts. Okay, so I hit start. And now what I'm doing is I'm creating 14 Web 2.0 profiles outside of this website right now for me. What this is going to do for me is going to allow me to do a Web 2.0 submission. So once this is done, we'll go back to the beginning and we'll talk about how to actually go through and do a Web 2.0 submission once we have sites created. So as you can see, I went through the process. I have submitted the Web 2.0 profile sites. I have accounts created. And now I can move on to the next step, which is again verifying my email. So once I have these set up, I go through make sure I have all the ones that I've just set up created and then I'm going to verify email. This also takes a couple of minutes so go ahead click it, set it, forget it, let it run. Once you come back you'll be ready to roll. Okay so with that out of the way I can go back to the actual submission process. So within this particular profile, my sample profile, you can see I have some Web 2.0 profiles to submit to. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go back and I'm going to set a new project submission Web 2.0 profiles. So I double click that. You can see I have 19 websites that I can possibly submit to. Now I want to go through the, the same thing. Go and submit information. Now if I want to have the specific URLs tied to this project in its own file, then I need to go here. Go new URL list. And then I'll call this Web 2.0 profiles list. So within my projects, here's my Web 2.0 profiles. Double click that again. Make sure I have sample profile. This is all where, where all my accounts are. And I want Web 2.0 profiles list. This is where it'll output my information. So with these accounts, I'm going to submit information. Now I'm just setting up a profile. Again, you're thinking about people uh, sign up for a website within that website. Here's some information about me. Okay, so. I'm just going to throw something together. I want to walk you through it. So this is basically a, you know, if somebody sees this profile, what it looks like. Uh, I just wrote up, my name is Bill Walsh, and I've been a professional golfer for 10 years and was semi-pro for five. And I have spun text you can see here. Still love the game, really enjoyed your website. Um, so that one people, one people, some people will see this, some people will see this. You can change it up even more. Same exact spin syntax with the bracket, the bar, and then the bracket again. Then at the end or in the content, you want to put number sign, the word link, number sign. Now this is going to add your link to this phrase here. To do that, you have to go to the bottom and type on your website URL and anchor text. So you can see my website URL, www.golfsite.com, two number signs, and then the anchor text. And you can see I've spun golf website, golf accessories, golf clubs in the actual URL. And then I put another one, a sub page golf website, nine irons, golf bags, my URL. So if I preview, you can see, really enjoyed your website. My spun text shows up here. Then here's my varyings. Uh, golf site is one, nine irons is another one. So if I preview again, you can see the differing uh, spins. So this is all set up now. I'm all set. I have some sites already selected. Uh, I don't want to submit to all of them. I just want to submit to the ones that I have usernames and passwords for. 10. 
that I have usernames and passwords and just hit start. So then Backlink Beast is going to go through and actually do those submissions for me and then in a few minutes I will show you the output. So here you can see my submissions completed and made it through seven of the ten. Three of them did not go through for whatever reason. This is always a million different reasons. Again, don't dwell on it. Just keep moving on. Keep doing more submissions. So if I close this out, I can go back to my URL list and I can show you the actuals such as this, which is one example where you can see Bill Walsh, professional golfer. Tell me, really enjoyed your golf site. So here's my golfing website and there it is. So that's a really quick example. These are the other URLs that were submitted. So if you want to go through and check every single one of them, you can, but that's available to you. But that is how you submit to Web 2.0 profiles. So next, we'll talk about social bookmarking.